So this is what we're working with. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. I am so excited for this video today. Okay, so I am moving to the Gold Coast in seven days. Like literally this time next week, I will be on the plane. Actually, no, that's a lie. But I'll be going to the airport, like getting ready, getting my suitcase, getting in the car, driving to the airport. But I am beyond unprepared. I have no idea what I'm gonna pack. I don't even know if I have enough stuff, like realistically to pack. Like I have enough stuff, but I don't know if I have the stuff. You know what I mean? My hair it looks like this my lashes okay guys look at this it looks like the seven seas have like parted in my eye like what is what is that what is that guys so that is what we're going to be doing in today's video i'm going to bring you guys along while i prep and pack for this trip if you have just clicked on this video and you've never watched any of my videos before i mean hi hey we're basically best friends now so you should definitely subscribe but my name is beth i live in melbourne and i am relocating to the gold coast for the month of february i did post a video i'll put the thumbnail up on the screen explaining why I'm moving, when I'm moving, and then I also did a Q&A, which by the time this video goes up will be up, which I'll also put the thumbnail on the screen, which goes through a lot of the questions that I got asked in this video. So if you're new here, you should definitely go and watch these. I'll link them below. So first step for today is I'm going to get my hair done. I am so excited to get this done. The hairdresser that I go to is like I love her so much, she's the best. But she is an hour drive away. If you're new here, I'm like not the most confident driver. Like I'm not the kind of person who can just get in the car and be like zoom zoom, like living my best life, like music playing, just vibing. Like I have to really concentrate. So my appointment is in a couple of hours, but I am gonna leave early so that I can get there early. I'm very excited. Okay, I just got to the hairdressers. Well, I got to like where I'm parking. There was definitely some times on that drive where I was like, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Like I genuinely don't I think I'm gonna make it. Also, I have my car tripod here, but I low-key like can't figure out how to get this straight So I'm just gonna have to hold you. My appointment is in 12 minutes. Yo, I thought I was leaving early Like I thought I was gonna get here with half an hour to spare I was like I can take that half an hour to just like chill sit here check in with you guys But man at the start of the drive I was like in the wrong lane for something and then I had to like turn right ended up in this completely different section And I was like man I know the way to get here and like if I follow that way, I'm good I can't be having mistakes like little mistakes, little detours, they throw me off so bad. Anyway, I wanted to get here early as well because I packed a wrap. I literally packed a lunch because my appointment's at one. One is lunchtime. Maybe I'll have enough time to eat. I feel like I could smash down that wrap in five minutes. I also hope I'm allowed to park here. I couldn't see any signs that said two hours or three hours or any no standing signs. So like, I guess I can park here. Oh my God, imagine that. Imagine I come back and the car's gone. <laughs> anyway, this is my current before. It's, um... What's that TikTok? It's not that bad. It just needs a little shaping to the song. So this is my inspo. I basically want to go blonder, like a more silver blonde because mine's quite yellow at the moment. And I also want to do some sort of shadow root, shadow melt situation because I really don't like the harsh regrowth line I get. I'm going to quickly eat this wrap in literally five minutes. Why am I putting my sunglasses on? I don't know. I feel like I'm really frazzled right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, no, I love. I think I was mentally preparing for it to be like the darkest ever. Like, you <laughs> like know when you're like, jet like, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, no, I love it. Okay, guys, I'm in the parking lot at my apartment. I just drove back, but oh my god. Like, what the hell? It literally looks exactly like the inspo pic I showed you guys at the start. I'm like. I'm in shock. I'm so obsessed with it. I'm so excited to like do my makeup or like put some more fake tan on my face because right now like obviously like hi this is a situation and I feel like the hair is so good. I just want to do my makeup so I can see my like potential. That drive back man it was so weird. They started taking me this like wonky ass way. I ended up on like three different freeways. I'm like hello. The GPS kept telling me to go on these different routes that had tolls and I was like I just paid an amount for my hair. I do not need to be paying for tolls. That's for sure. So it took me a while, but I made it. Also, I didn't show you my hair. When I got back to my car, when I walked out of the salon, there was a man in the truck parked behind my car, and I was like, oh, absolutely not. We do not 
We do not need that. Good morning. Cal and I are gonna go and get our booster shots. I'm so excited because originally, I don't think I was gonna be eligible to get my booster until I was in Queensland. And then I was gonna have to waste, well not waste a day, but a day would have been me getting my booster and then the next day I would have been recovering. And I only have 28 days <laughs> in Queensland. So I'm very excited that I can get my booster before. Also, I just wanna be as safe and prepared for COVID as I can. So I'm very happy that I'm going to be going to the Gold Coast Booster. Like three vats, baby, I'm ready. Well, I'm not ready, but we will be ready. Okay, the day has finally come. I am going to get my eyelashes done. Guys, look at them. Like, look at this. There's barely any left. I am booked in for a refill, but I honestly feel like they may just have to do a new set. I don't know. I don't really know how it works, but I am so excited for them to not look like this. That is for sure. Literally, what is this eye? There's just a whole massive section here, massive gap, and then one little straggler on the end, like, nothing. Good morning! Guys, oh my god, today is my last day in Melbourne before I go to the Gold Coast. Like, tomorrow I will be getting on the plane and going to the Gold Coast. Like, what? I can't tell if I'm excited. Well, I am excited, but it also doesn't feel real at the same time. But anyway, I want to bring you guys along while I pack today, but I do need to go down the street and get a couple of last minute things. I have this click and collect order from Strandbags. Also, I tried to straighten my hair today and flick these bits in to give it like a nice blowout look. I feel like it worked, but it's low-key driving me crazy because it's just constantly touching my face. The amount of times I do my hair, put it on my face, and then get overwhelmed with it being on my face and have to pin it back is insane. I don't know if this looks okay, but we're just gonna roll with it. Anyway, I have a strand bags click and collect order because I realized the other day that I don't have any like cosmetic travel bags. Like anytime I go anywhere, I just like throw all my cosmetics in my bag or I put it in one of these little like reusable bags that I have. And I'm like, that's just not really the vibes for the Gold Coast. Also, I don't want to put that in my suitcase and then have everything break. So I did a click and collect order two days ago and it still isn't ready. Do you think I should just call them? I think I'll call them. I'm gonna figure that out. Guys, oh my god, you're never gonna believe what just happened. Also, you guys are so far away, man. Like, you're on the other side of my bed. But I tried this jacket on. I just pulled it out of my closet. I was like, ooh. And I put it on to see if I still liked it. Do the whole, like, hands in the pocket thing. And I found this lipstick that I've literally been looking for for months. This is such a good start to the packing process. I'm so excited. It does low-key make me want to do my makeup, but I'm gonna sweat so much in this process. So, this jacket is gonna be coming. I also knew this was gonna Gonna happen as soon as I grabbed this jacket I put it on and then I was like oh I should try it with my gray biker shorts and now I'm like oh this is a fit like I love this and then I'm like should I wear this to the airport tomorrow anyway this is my suitcase it is completely empty but we're gonna do this I'm in the best mood I don't even know why it might be because I found my lipstick it might just be because I don't know, it might just be because it's a good day, but we're gonna do this. I think I might take the suitcase off the bed because I think I'll just throw everything on the bed and then figure out, oh, should I throw everything in the suitcase? I'll throw everything on the bed. I'll throw everything on the bed. Guys, you know that TikTok where it's like, and I think it's gonna be a long, long time. That's me. Me with packing right now. Since I'm limiting myself to sweaters, let's start with the sweaters. I definitely need your help. I'm thinking these two. This one's my Whistler one. Very oversized. I feel like it's just cool. Like over some biker shorts. Could put it with some sweats if it gets <laughs> cold in the Gold Coast. And then I just have this white one here with the palm springs. I honestly think I might just take these two. Like, there's not even a grey one. I'm obsessed with grey sweaters, but I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take these two. One pair of sweats because you never know. I kind of hate all of my jeans at the moment, but this pair of Lees that I got in literally like 2012 finally fit. I'm gonna get new ones up there. The chokehold this skirt has on me, it has to come. It's coming. I need some serious help with this. I need some serious help with my fashion in general. Like I'm not really a fashion gal, but is this skirt cute? Like keep or delete? I might pack it. This dress doesn't even fit me properly, but it's so cute. I think it would fit Masca, and I think she would love it. Same with this green dress. I wish it fit me. It just doesn't sit right on me, but I also feel like this would look really good on Masca. Not me now, just packing for Masca. I'm like, oh, she could wear that dress. <laughs> yeah, I think that even still has the tags on it. These shorts are coming. These brown pants are coming. I still can't believe I found these at a thrift store. 
I did low-key get avocado on them <laughs> and it kind of stained. Maybe I finally got the stain. Oh no, there's the stain. And it's in that spot where it's just like, could be a different kind of stain, you know? But it's not. I've said it once and I'll say it until the day I die. You can never have too many white tops. Never. Period. I'm taking four, maybe five. I think actually and I will be buying more up there because you can never ever have too many especially if you fake tan and if you fake tan you'll know why <laughs> why do I feel drawn to bring the singlet even though I've never worn it before in my life cute cute <laughs> make that six white tops I think this is the only other dress oh no I'm gonna take this dress I never really wear this but it is so freaking cute like I want to wear this out to dinner but it just reminded me I also want to pack this dress here that I got from Princess Polly it needs to be worn oh and this one I also thrifted this white dress I love it. See what I mean? Like, there's already so many clothes. But this is what you do. You get everything you think you want to take, and then you look at it all again, and you go, do I really need to take that? I don't know about this, so I'm putting it in there for now. Probably will get taken out later. Classy. Oh my god, I haven't told you this. Guys, I ordered a bunch of bikinis. Well, it was like part of a collab. You guys will see soon. But the bikinis are arriving tomorrow. Well, like the swimsuits, they're not all bikinis. But they're coming tomorrow. Like tomorrow before 10 p.m. I'm like, oh my god. Of course, the day that I'm leaving. So I think I'm gonna get Cal to just send them up to me. Like, I still have like bathers I can take. It's not a big deal. But I'm like, of course, it's the exact day that I'm leaving that this parcel is coming. I also have another parcel coming with some pajamas that I'm doing for another collab that's coming here. Ah! Cal is gonna be forwarding stuff to the hotel. When we check in, I'm gonna have to be like, so. What do I do about mail? I'm sure they'll be fine with it. I'll ask really nicely, obviously. I'm just gonna be like, and where can I like get my mail sent to? Guys, remember in the clean out my wardrobe with me video where this was all <laughs> folded nicely? Well, this is um this is it now. Just no matter what I do, I can't keep it clean. And I've just accepted that about myself, and life's been a lot easier. So this is what we're working with. <laughs> There is so much stuff, but I believe in us. We can get through this. Guys, oh my god. Okay, so I just got back from down the street. I went and picked up my strand bags order because it was ready to collect. And I, like, oh, just look at this, okay? I have actual boob sweat on my singlet. Probably TMI, but that is how hot it is outside. And I only have to walk like five minutes. But let me show you guys what I got. So I got two of these bags. I really hate the little tassel thing, but I think I'll be able to take it off. So I got two of these. That was what was in my click and collect order. And then I saw this when I walked in. So there's three bags in there and there's just this one big bag as well. And I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. I think the big bag, I want to put my like shampoo and conditioner and all those bigger kind of bottles in. And then the three smaller bags, Bags I'll use for either more toiletries or I'll use for my electronics. I really don't like the sparkly one So if any of you guys like this sparkly looking bag comment below and I will just I'll send it to you because I don't think I'm gonna use it. In terms of packing, I've basically finished my clothes. I'm gonna try and cull a couple more items. I culled a couple, because I got Cal to come and help me put stuff into the suitcase, but I'm gonna try and cull a bit more, because I think I mentioned this morning, I'm gonna be doing some shopping there, but I don't wanna go with a, a completely filled suitcase. It's like probably nearly 4 p.m. I really need to get a move on. I got so stuck into making packing TikToks for so long, and now I'm like, I actually need to finish packing. <laughs> I literally thought all of my toiletries and cosmetics was going to take up this whole entire side of the suitcase. This is making me so happy because the other side of the suitcase is full of clothes. And I was like, if that side's full of clothes and the other side is completely full of toiletries and cosmetics, I'm going to have a full suitcase and then I'm not going to be able to have like any room to take things home if I buy stuff over there. So I'm very happy about this. Also now I can like move stuff around and everything's not just going to be crammed in on the clothes side. Guys, oh my god, I just finished packing. I'm done. I'm actually done. 
It feels so real now. Like I'm actually moving to the Gold Coast tomorrow. Crazy! My God! Yeah!